What's going on? What is going on everybody out there in Facebook land? I have got to tell you, um, I just, I, I just had an amazing conversation with a lady. Um, her name is Azur that works at Apple. I called Apple care because I was having a little issue with that I could not figure out and, and it took her a while to figure out too. But I'm telling you, like I had this really amazing conversation. Brad, how you doing brother? How you doing man? Good to see you, Brad French in the house. So I had this really amazing conversation with this woman. She's from the Caribbean. Her name is Azur. She works at Apple Care, And I have a new friend out of this conversation. And I mean a good friend. Scott Smith, thank you, bro, for sharing, man. I really appreciate it. Appreciate you sharing, brother. Jim Weaver, what's up? Thank you to everybody who's sharing the hearts, the love, the comments, everything. I love you guys. So listen. I have a question for you. Are you addicted to negativity? I listened to this video today. Danielle Rowe, of course she's in here and the first thing she does is boom. We will wait for you. You have to wait for me? Thank you for the hearts, Danielle, you rock. So, so I was talking to this woman and um, she's from the Caribbean. She's amazing, amazing, amazing lady. And um, just really struck up a, a great conversation. She actually jumped, jumped off the call, sent me an email because she was talking about writing a book that everybody's one, wanted her to write a book. And I said, yeah, I'm a best-selling author now. I just wrote a book about a month and a half ago, went live and went, went to bestseller status and blah, blah, blah. And I said, it's something I've always wanted to do. And I finally did it. And, and, and I became a best-selling author because I have some amazing friends that, that bought my book. And, um, and so I was talking to, I can't see without my glasses. I can, I can a little bit. Somebody just said, hi, Ken. Looks like Joanne. Danielle, it either says Danielle Rowe or Donald Trump. <laughs> I don't think Trump's on my stream. Anyway, so, um, <clears throat> oh, good, Danielle. That's awesome. I'm glad to hear that. <clears throat> so, I listened to this thing today on YouTube, and I listened to it three different times. A couple of times it was just playing in the background as I was doing some work, but it's called How Your Subconscious Mind Can Work with the Law of Attraction to Create Your Perfect Life. What is up, Deb Ballinger? And, and so he talks about how most people are in some way addicted to negativity. And I, 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 I have to, as the way this guy points it out, man, I have to agree that there's a lot of people addicted to negativity. And I'm not talking about like you live to be negative. I'm not talking about that. What's up, Justin? How you doing? It's 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 the sneaky little things that you, you you find like you know, and it's not it's not your fault necessarily. It's not your fault, but once you become aware of the situation or the problem, if it continues, then it's your fault. But if you if you've if you've been raised by parents or um, grandparents or maybe clergy people or, you know, a, a priest or a, uh, uh, no, a, a, sorry, I was being interrupted. Or if you were, Hey Leah, how are you? Wow. I got 29 people on here. That's insane. So maybe it was, maybe it was a, a, a rabbi or, or it could have been any, anybody that's programmed you throughout your life that, you know, that maybe, you know, maybe it's a religious thing that, that you believe that, that, that your God is, is, um, you know, that you were born defective. And so you have to, um, the only thing negative is, see, dude, it's, it's, it's gray and rainy here in, in Ohio. I'm right down the road from you, Matt. And, and honestly, dude, like I, I, I was, um, I would normally, I used to, 
I used to be, hey, thanks, dude. Wow, that's incredible. Scott, you rock, man. So, um, you know, the, the go MSU, yeah. They killed Ohio State. It, oh, no, that's right. No, they didn't. So, um, but anyway, like, if you, if you live in, if your mindset is programmed to be negative from parents or whoever, you can change that. You can change that right now. And there's so much freaking material out there about it. I mean, Grant Cardone talks about it. Trying to get banned from the ones I shouldn't be in. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> well, that'll do it, man. Oh, uh, wow. Gotta get me on with you for a minute now. Hey, dude, come on, man. I'll invite you right now, Scott. Come on. Come on. So, um, let's get Scott in here. He's a badass out in Arizona. I love this dude, man. He's freaking awesome. There he is. I've never done the, the uh, duo. How's the hair shuttle look? Dude, you looking tight? Thanks for having me looking, on, man. Looking tight. Dude, I'm glad you're on, bro. What's it's going almost on? like we're talking face to face, but we've got a crowd watching. It's kind of creepy, man. The angle. <laughs> Like, we always do this, but I never have people commentating on, like, Scott's mustache <laughs> twirled to the right a little bit. Oh, that's funny, dude. Sorry, sorry, to, sorry to kill the convo. No, you're fine, bro. I, You know, I, I'm just – I I know so many people. I, I I was listening to this thing on YouTube, and it's not a video. It's just – well, it's, it is a video, but it's, you know, it's just got a, a, a graphic in there, but – it's this guy talking about the, the subconscious mind and how, how negative we can be as, as human beings because, not because it's our fault, but because, you know, we were raised and maybe our parents were, had this negative undertone or something in life, you know, and, and so nothing's that sticks with us. No, nothing's, uh, ever our, nothing's ever our fault, man. Well, at some point it becomes our fault. I, I'm being sarcastic. <laughs> I mean, like, dude, oh, nothing's no. ever our fault until that's the only fault that we can't fix, right? <laughs> right, right. But I mean, if if you know, once you become aware of something, though, if you keep doing it, like then then it's your fault for sure. <laughs> oh, it's everything's right? my fault, man. I, I feel like, well, here's how right. I feel. You know, like, he, he, here's how I feel about that. So, in terms of positivity as well, I, I read a study uh, recently that said realism and negativity or excuse me pessimism is actually uh, more apt to make you feel um, ambitious than positivity and I started thinking I don't really know the difference in the two it's just reality for me man like this is reality I'm not I, I don't have to try to be optimistic it's just I know that things will work in my favor if I'm out to do the right thing right 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 so, so why you know, does it I, I, tend to be positive? It's just, it, it, it's reality. Yeah. Dude, you know, we're both, we're both in the tech world and, 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 you know, one of the things I called Apple care because I couldn't get contact names to show up on iMessage on my iMac. Oh, and I was like, what is going on? I've been through all the settings. I'm like, what the heck? So finally, after years of having this problem, I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to call Apple care. And, and so I talked to this woman for a long time and I could have been, you know, so many people in the in our in our business, because you and I are in similar businesses in marketing in the tech world. We're all and, on and, a different journey, just on a we're all, we're all on the same yeah. journey, just a different path, man. Right, you know? right. But I, I, you know, so many people will call us and they'll you know complain and they start just just man, 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 vomiting. And and here's the thing, man. I took the approach with this woman, just no matter what she said, I was going to be happy. I was going to compliment her. I was going to say all that. She had a really cool name, Azure, which is French for blue and all this stuff. And, and so I, I started talking and I was just real positive with her. Right. Yeah. Well, at the end, dude, she's like, man, you're, you are like one of the most positive people I've ever talked to. And I've been doing this a while. And I said, well, thank Amazing. you. I appreciate that. Amazing. You know? And, 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 dude, she went and bought my book, and she wants to sign up for this course that I'm, I'm putting together for, for helping people publish Great, your man. book. That's, and, sometimes that's what it takes to, for someone to – I'll tell you, you know, just uh, where I started from, I, I worked in a boiler room, and it took one – I think it was a Brian Tracy, The Psychology of Selling. That book was the first self-help book that I actually read. Like I bought a lot 
uh, for people to think I was smart. You know, like, hey, guys, I got all these cool books. I'm like, that was the, the first one that I read. And, and here's why, uh, Ken. It's because I actually related, I believe, if I remember right, in the first chapter, which Chandra Williams, you're out there in Georgia with my copy of, of that. I need it back. Um, <laughs> I can still see where the highlighters are. So the first chapter talks about how, I believe, if it's the right book, of how he started by selling office supplies door to door, right? B2B. Is that right? Yeah. And, and, and he related the, um, he related the, the pain and like the, the challenge is that he had, and I could feel that same pain, even though I, I don't sell office supplies. Like I, I could feel empathy for him, right? Like he wants yeah. to do the right thing. And so right. I, I've since then, like I used to be empathetic for everyone and then it became sympathy. So I, I've created, I was just telling this couple this. I've created one rule before I, I go on and embark on doing what you did today. And I need to do a test, right? Like it's it's got to be a um, – I need to make sure that the person I'm doing this with is – it's even worth my, my time. Like maybe it's just worth my time being a robot on the phone, you know? So right. they, they need to answer a binary question, yes or no. Like, right. hey, do you want this to work out in the best of both of our favors? Is it yes? Okay, Good. I'm going to be the most positive person you ever meet. Hey, do you are you having a great day at work today? Are you interested in, in uh, feeling better? If you're not, then I can't make you feel better, dude. Like if you're not interested, yep. I I don't have the energy to persuade you to. You know, you're you're not willing <laughs> well, to do it. That's and dude, there's some people that are just so programmed, it's so ingrained in them to be negative and look at the world through through the negative pair of glasses that they. Why do they you know, do that? I mean, it literally. Why do they do that? It takes, it takes life going like that and smacking them upside the head one day and saying, "Wake up, man." Well, it's it's like it's almost like a safety mechanism that triggers, right? Because I feel it with it when I get anxiety yeah. sometimes about something new, and I and I get negative about it, and it's really what it is is it's I I feel myself not living up to my own potential, like Grant Cardone said recently about the. You saw the video he did. Yeah. It's like when you when you feel negative about something, it's because you see yourself not living up to your potential that you know that you could do, and you let it go. You just let it fly off. Yeah. That's all it is, man. And you see it in other that's people. That's right. That's why, that's why I got haters, man. There's probably haters commenting on this right now, talking about my buck teeth and everything. And somebody but, somebody yeah. put an angry face in there, man. Dude, oh, that's because you shared this out to all those groups. Dude, here, here's, <laughs> dude I love I love. I love angry or happy people. I can't stand people that are lukewarm or have no feelings, man. If you're mad, <laughs> if, if you're mad at me, I can get you to make a decision at least, okay? If you're, right. if you're excited, we can come to a conclusion. But if, if you're just not sure or lukewarm, we can't get anywhere. So, so if you're mad, let, let's, let's figure this thing out, man. I love you too. Dude, you know, you I don't freaking, really get mad you... anymore. We can do this thing, you know? Dude, you cracked me up, man. It's Seriously. true, though, man. Like, I'll get you mad and then get a sale from you, man. <laughs> don't, don't you hate being in the condition you're in today? God, I hate that. Doesn't it make, make you feel bad that you're not where you, you should be and your wife knows you should be? Dude, what, what is, what's your wife saying about you at the dinner table when she goes out with her girl? <laughs> what, what do you wish she was saying that she's not, man? Okay, uh, plastic. Let's get that fixed. Dude, that, that's so funny. I just finished the consult, man. So it's, I actually I whip that one out sometimes just to see the reaction on the wife's face, and and it's usually like if you don't have, I call it a shit sandwich. It's like you gotta deliver it, and then you gotta. Yeah. It's okay. We're gonna get through this. Yeah, I love that, dude. That's pretty anyway, awesome. what, what were we talking about? I don't know, man. I have no idea. How many people are watching this crap? Dude, I, I don't know that I've ever had 50 people at one time on one of my videos. How did you share this out to so many groups so well, fast, it's my, dude? it's on my wall, too. I mean, it's uh, cool. So, yeah, so let's see. I can actually read now. How, how's everybody doing today? So I've got a question now that I've got Ken's audience captivated. jeez. <laughs> oh, hey, Ken, I got a message for you, buddy. <laughs> I got a question. Um, if, if Ken or I specifically Ken, reach through the screen right now and just fix one one little anxiety, anxious feeling you had today. What exactly would it be if you'll share? I'm just curious. Wow. wow. That's a great question, dude. It's a really good question. Sitting at the table, hey, especially hey, when they're being let I down. I hear you. Can you hear me now? 
Yeah, you put your phone down in that water or something, dude. Depression. <laughs> okay. The, I, I think depression, like when I'm depressed, it's because I'm not producing and I know it. So. Yeah. I, I've been depressed recently a little bit, and it's because you're not in the state of production. You're either producing or depressed, right? Is that right? I agree with that. I mean, I, I, I you know, there's, uh, you know, depression. What is, why is my, do, I'm not a do, you have an, do you have an Alexa? No. I just my, have an my Alexa. Alexa my Alexa acts weird as hell sometimes, man. Um, I don't like them robots, man. They send government uh, uh, secret negativity codes in. Come on, man. So, um, you know, the as far as depression, it would, um, you know, for me, it, I, I agree with that, man. Yeah, like, yeah, like, if, mm. if you're depressed, it's because you're not, you're not, um, you're not producing. Like, you, you, you're I'm in a state too, of though, man. It's hard when you when you haven't produced and you know you have to to stop being depressed. That, that's yeah. me at least. That's what Grant says too. I don't know if that's clinical, but I've never taken an, an anti-anxiety or anti-depression. I've been in some pretty tough spots. Okay, so usually, like looking back, I can think of it's it's because I've stopped. Like you're on that, you're you're in driving a NASCAR and you literally stop the car in front of, in front of somebody else. You know, well, you're no, and I, I, dude, like you go live all the time. I, I see. Of course, you go live and dude, your, it's my greatest fear, man. Like I. Yeah. Never, I do it because I'm so scared of it. Right? right. And the same with me, dude. I have people all the time, like, look, and I say this, you know, kind of to get a laugh, but the, uh, I remember the first time I went live on Periscope, I was standing in my conference room and I, and I had a couple of employees there and I'm like, well, I guess I'm going to do this. And they're like, do it. Yeah, do it. And I was like, well, dude, that's me too. I had, I, had, I had my wife, like I told her I was going to do it. And then I had also had a, a colleague that was yeah. like, he was like, you got to do this. And I, and I had to like work the entire day up to that evening. And then I was like, whoa, people actually are interested in like seeing my emotion, you know, me emote to them. Yeah. Like they can see my caricature better. Um, yeah. I w I'll give some advice though for you guys. I'm scared to sell to do live stream and Ken will tell you, I got people that hate, hate the hell out of me and love the hell out of me. So yeah. here, here, here's, here. here's what, here's what really cures fear of doing live video or live sales calls or anything. It's knowing that there's someone watching always, always they'll send you a message or later on someone watching that you really made a difference and helped them. And because you're, you've been so greedy that you're worried about how you look or, or what you're yeah. going to say that, that they ne they'll never get that message unless you do it. Dude, I, I'm telling you, it's like this, this, this girl I just talked to at Apple, man. Uh, you know, she said, man, so many people have told me I should write a book and blah, 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 blah. Dude, I wrote a book. It's a best-selling book. And, and it, I became a best-selling author, as you know. And, and yeah, I, your world you know, didn't change dramatically when that happened. You, but inside, you felt more congruent, right? Dude, everything. Like, look, for, for 25 or 30 years, I said I was going to write a book. I finally did it. And I became a published author. And, dude, like, it, like everything has exploded not in my not not i don't mean like I've, i'm printing money now it's like I mean, the first I'm time you said you're going into business for yourself the same thing happens it's it's right it's like all of a sudden you have this un unfound un unaware confidence about yourself and life that you didn't well, have before it, it, dude it's because you publicly are committed to something that now you're accountable to and then you you followed through and you're like it wasn't that bad and i actually am the man i thought i was i am the woman i knew i was right i was too scared to prove that i would be right yeah yeah seriously dude. it is it's, like it's, if, if you want to own a lambo go get a lambo next month it's like 1800 bucks okay if yeah. you want a freaking i mean that's really what you want the, i think ken really the problem people don't know what they actually want man like, right they, they think that they can do everything because they're so smart and skilled and then they yeah. do nothing. And then they think they know exactly what they would want and they watch others do it. And they're like, eh, not, yeah. not so great. I'll, I'm going to do something different. You know? Yeah. I'm yeah. going gonna, gonna to be hating, hate, hating on that, but uh, <laughs> yeah. I could do it better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I love the armchair quarterbacks, man. So, Dude, it's auditing, you know, man. It's, it's like it's like auditing what everyone else is doing. Someone's watching this video, like 
I would not be sitting in, with a cap on. Like someone's wanting to say, don't wear a ball cap, you know. And why? Yet that's a fleeting thought for them. But if we had had asked for that feedback, and actually they were qualified to give it, it might have changed the way you do your future live streams, and it should. Dude, I, I wear a ball cap, gangsta. Come on, man. I don't care about all that shit. I like you I know, had. look. I know people that need to go live that want Aaron Marshall. What's up, brother? Billy freaking Murray is in here. Dude, Billy's up, been doing video. I Jedi love Billy. Hill. Billy's one Look of my favorite these. humans in the world, man. You need to connect with Billy. He's a great guy. I I am connected with Billy. I love Billy. Oh, He's awesome. He's so so you know, I know people that my dogs are freaking out because it just it lightning thundered outside. Um, but anyway, like Look you know, funny I know people you that that um, yeah, I know people that that need to go live. They need to go live, but they're not going live, and they're living on 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 the past you know and they're not doing live streams they're not doing what that was they me, need man. to do dude, and that was it's me. fear I man hey, guess what uh ken like i was so scared to do like when i had, when i was really trucking with my mastermind i would not get on webcam on our calls and yeah. it was because i was like god there's gonna be people looking at my face and yep. dude they're not looking at my face unless they're my girlfriend they're trying to right. hear what message and if it's relevant to them or not. I don't care what you look like, Kenny. I haven't even really looked at you, man. I'm worried about right. myself, dude. I'm worried about myself. That's right. That's everybody. That's everybody. And people get on a live stream and they listen to, to somebody like you or me or Grant Cardone or whoever, and they're they're looking for they're looking for one little nugget of information that will There's a reason I'm watching them. that and not like a soap on the on the tube right there's a reason they pulled you up and it's not because they are going to have a bad experience viewing you or they call right. so right so with, with like our, our facebook ads okay the average view time for just a cold audience is 20 seconds okay what that tells me i, I just pulled these numbers this morning on like a hundred thousand views of a video so what that tells me is that dude if they don't like you they can't stand watching you so get over it man if they're still there right. they're interested okay yeah, yeah. And so, Ken, you've got I, all hey, these people just, saying they need help going live, man. What are you gonna? What can we do for these people? Dude, the only way to the only way to go live is literally hit the go live button. Hey, talk well, to everybody for a minute. Kidding. I gotta go. I gotta shut my window. Go it's take a potty. Sideways. Go take a potty. I got, I got this, man. No, so, I gotta hey, shut this see, I'm nervous up, now. Ken's leaving me to fly solo, so. You guys that are that are really, really, really have anxiety about going live, um, just realize it's okay to be scared and do it, and you don't have to have something to talk about. Just like when you go into a consult, it's not about you; it's about. Oh, Look sorry. at that! It, it's raining sideways here, dude. dude I, I need to see that in Phoenix, man. I need to. I haven't seen rain in Phoenix in a year, dude. Look, out back, out my back. You can't even see out back. It's raining so hard. It's a, Dude, I need some rain here. So to finish that sentence, and sorry, this in the rain. So listen, you guys, it's it's literally an overwhelming fear of pressing that button, and I wish someone could could have pressed it for me the first time I did it. Um, I'm still scared shitless. I, I'm scared when I take a sales call, man. I've done four hundred thousand of them. Yeah, but guess what? It's just like I, I was listening to a podcast, and he's like. The time that you, you take a leak and, and you leave some sprinkles on the toilet seat and you don't wipe it off and, and you let it go, like that that's the moment of decision. You're going to wipe it off and clean it up? Are you going to kick that Cheeto under the kitchen table or are you going to throw it in the trash, man? That's the difference in a winner and a freaking loser, dude. So press the live button and see what happens. Yeah. That's my pitch. Dude, dude that's – I mean, it's, it's – you know, and, and like Deb just said – what if um, what if you don't know what what you're gonna say on a live stream? Well, you know, I, and I think that say to her, man. you just yeah. gotta you gotta if, come if, up. If you have nothing to talk about, if if you have nothing to talk about, that means that there's nobody listening that needs help because they're gonna ask. Like, see, we, we're getting feed. You, you should always not have anything to talk about. I want. I'm curious as to what you need help with. Yeah. Uh, how can we connect? And it's. We can connect by sharing my experience. I, dude, I have only done maybe 10, 20, 30 live streams, but the ones I do are epic because I pick the, the scariest sales call of the week. 
Yeah. And I'm like, if I don't do it on live stream, I'm not going to perform like I could. Right. <laughs> Maybe it's a personality type, but I need someone to like be watching me so I can close a big deal or something. And I picked the. It's like, it's like I'm scared of heights and I jump, you know, skydive. So maybe I'm a freak. I don't know. You do skydive? Yeah, I've skydived. Yeah. It's, it's nothing that's like I think it is, that's, man. That's, that is something that I've never done. Dude, I've always thought. Who, who's skydiving? Leave a heights. comment. Leave a comment if you skydive. How did it feel? Go ahead, Ken. I, I've always thought, man, it'd be cool. But, I, I man, I don't know if I could do it. It's What's up, nothing Brent like Crane? you expect. It's nothing like you expect, man. So, so here's how it is in a nutshell. Like when you when you drop from the plane, you have um, some context of like you know the plane leaving you, like some like you can see an object moving, and then ten seconds later, it's not. It's just literally nothingness, man. Like you're not falling, you're not. Um, it's literally just being in air, dude. It's not even. You're not pulling G's or anything once you hit uh, terminal velocity. It's just being. It's weird. Wasn't the adrenaline wow. rush I expected? Now the first three seconds off the plane was pretty fucking, eh, pretty uh, scary. Sorry. <laughs> not, not to mention I was thirty pounds overweight at the time, and I had to give the guy a twenty to get me on his suit thing, and then we almost died. That's another story for another live stream. There's, hey, Chuck Studebaker, what's going on, brother? How you doing? Oh man, uh, see, man, Jedi, so, so going so... towards the fear is what enables you to conquer that fear. But how do we take the first step? Yeah. Message Ken, he'll help you. Maybe. <laughs> That's right. Seventy-five dollar per hour, per minute. I mean. Seventy-five per hour. Who charges that, man? Not me. Ooh, we're so, up some um, commentators here. Who's charging seventy-five an hour? I know you're watching, suckers. <laughs> so, um, yeah, man. Listen, <clears throat> I, um, I, I just want to hop on and talk about yeah, this I'm, thing I'm, I watched yeah. today that that dude it's freaking unbelievable it really is I, dude, it's I okay to, to be positive it, I, it's, it's I, okay I, to I, be around other positive people anyone that tells you that you're you're freaking obsessed or you're a freak let them go do their thing man you, you got a different plan yeah. so it's okay cut them out it's not, it's cut, not weird cut them out well just cut let them, them do their thing they're not bad people just let them do their thing over there they're hey the, you know what negative people are bad people in my life i don't want them I don't, I don't like don't, them. I don't need them around me. People, yeah, well, negative people are poison, but let them do the thing over there in the poison berries. I'm not. I have no idea what they're doing, man. I I don't even know if they're bad or good. I'm just not interested. You know, so. Right. Uh, I don't. I don't think. I just like, dude. You know, Grant talks about it. I agree, man. No negativity is no negativity. I I cut them out. And here's the thing, dude. The the negative the why negative, negative stuff. I asked why they're negative first, and if they if they're more they, negative, well, like block, get out of here. Well, but here's the thing: negative Depends people on my mood too. can be can be sneaky. You don't even realize Dude. they're being negative. What, what's that thing you say? Like, don't don't worry about the haters, man. Worry about the ones that are interested in, in what the haters are gossiping about, man. Those are the right, snakes, right. Those are those are the snakes, man. And, and you know yeah. what? I don't even despise them because a snake's gonna be a snake. But I know how to not yep. have snakes in my garden no more, man. Right. Right. Hey, thanks for the live stream, man. I have no idea what we're doing, but uh, as always. Hey, man, we're just having man. fun. Ken Walls. We're, hey, we're Ken, just... what's your website? I always try to play. Dude, can we buy your book still, man? I, can yeah, you buy dude. something from you? I have nothing for sale but my my beautiful dark <laughs> soul. So. Your dark soul. See, that's negative, dude. So, um, no, uh, yeah, you can go to KenWalls.com, man. KenWalls.com. I'm logging on right now on AOL uh, with a TV uh, internet, and I'm going to buy some on KenWalls.com. I, I, dude, I'm out, and thanks for having me, man. It's always a blast. Later, bro. It's always a blast. See you, dude. All right, brother. See you. See you, man. What? Well, you get it? All right, so... Uh, Look, the, the um, you know, there's a lot of people out there that are addicted to being negative and they don't even realize it. Now, you know, for me, I've always been like, okay, let's try to figure out how we can, we can help that person get to a positive state. But if they can't, 
Like, you can't hang around that, man. You can't have a positive life with a negative attitude. You can't be a winner with a loser mentality. It's not possible. So I do everything in my power to to stay positive. I listen to things. I read things. I do things that 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 are going to bring positivity into my life. I suggest you do the same thing. I pinned a little video that I found on YouTube. It's It's really, really good, man. It's about the... It's about the subconscious mind. I, I pinned that down here at the bottom of this video. It's really, really powerful. It's, it's, it's good. It's 40 minutes long. Um, you know, you've probably spent 40 minutes or so of your life um, being negative. So, you know, just um, down with her. Got to just, yeah, you're just, that, there's a perfect, perfect example, Chuck. You're welcome, Scott. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you, man. You know, if your sister-in-law or your your anybody, man, they try to bring you down, you gotta get you gotta get that out of your life, man. I'm telling you, you gotta get it out of your life. Listen to this video. This video I just posted down there. I pinned the link to this. Um, often the first thing you do want to talk about the negative parts of your life. Yeah, Hans. You know what? It doesn't do any good to relive all that, man. I ain't gonna put all that in print. You know, I told a little bit, but there's, I mean, a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. But, you know, I mean, it doesn't do any good to, to live in the, the negativity, man. does nothing for you. does nothing for anyone. And, you know, this woman I talked to at Apple, um, here's our favorite motivator at the office on a long day. I'll check that out, bro. So, you know, the, the hack and whack, the negativity, even... even eventual snakes in the grass that's right dude you're 1000 percent right so um hans thank you for giving my book a shout out i appreciate that man um I, i'm i'm really um grateful that i wrote that book i really am grateful i wrote walls of wisdom if you haven't seen it um here it is here's a here's here's what the book looks like right there it's on amazon.com you can get to it by going to kenwalls.com but, um, you know, negativity will bring you down. Don't let negativity bring you down, man. Watch the video that I pinned down there. Well, you don't even have to watch it. You just listen to it. Listen to it. I've, I've listened to that thing now three times today. And, and it's just really impacted me in a powerful way today about how your unconscious mind just controls so much of what you're attracting into your life. It's, it's explained so well, so, so well in there. So anyway, listen, thank you guys. I appreciate all of you. Scott, thank you for jumping on, man. I appreciate you. Love you, brother. You're awesome. All of you rock. I appreciate each and every one of you. Can't believe I still have 43 people on here. That's amazing. Thank you guys. Appreciate all of you. And um, you can follow me. I'm, ma I, I'm, I'm maxed on the friends thing, I think, right now. Um, but I have um, CEO Ken Walls. You can follow me on, on the, my public page over there, CEO Ken Walls. Chuck, you rock, dude. You rock. Thank you, Jedi. My day has been blessed, and it will continue to be blessed. And I will continue to prove that I'm blessed, as Grant Cardone says. I am blessed, and now I'm going to prove it. I'm going to continue doing that. Thank you, guys. Appreciate all of you. Have an awesome, awesome Saturday night, and be safe out there. See ya. Peace.